What to do, YouTube? Been a minute. Back to give you another review of the Vice documentaries while watching Dark Side of the Ring. This time it's um, Jimmy Snooker's version. So let's get into that. So first up, good documentary. Um, they put together um, pretty well. I always like watching those things where they um, they bring it together and and like you get to kind of relive um, some of the wrestlers, um, you know, heights and 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 their uh their, their the goals they accomplished and all that type of stuff and you know um jim jimmy's uh superfly snooker legendary man legendary so um it was good to see some of the little highlights they tied in in the beginning um unfortunately tragic story um that that led up to um they're making this documentary but in the beginning you know um good 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 um overall highlights they did um and i kind of was watching um hannibal tv I'll, um, I'll put his, his um, link down down in the description um, to his to his video. He did a review also. Um, he actually he actually mentioned um, something that they kind of captured his whole career, but they 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 failed to mint. They kind of just said he he after the event that he just kind of spiraled down and went to a lower car and then went to Indy. Then he kind of just got washed up. But he did come back to. I remember I'm uh, I'm old enough to remember him coming back to WWE. Cause these events start from like 83 which i was born in 82 and then they move um all the way up and i'm i'm old enough to remember when he was in um well i guess back in wwe before well, the reason that they um, um meant to like bring this this documentary together um like i said vice did a good job is that um superfly jimmy snooker was um allegedly well he's accused of murdering or you know um his wife um uh, forgot to I believe it was third degree murder so, um, they, they, long, like, backstory to that, like, nobody ever knew what really went down. There was just, there was just allegedly, um, that, um, super, well, not allegedly, his, his girlfriend at the time, um, even though he was married, his girlfriend, so when you say mis mistress, um, was found dead in, in a, in a hotel room they were staying in. Now, the reason for her death was eventually found that it was no fault of Superfly Jimmy Snugger, but, um, the the documentary, and as you will see, um, came to, as it unfolded, came to see show that it, it wasn't really investigated. Matter of fact, all I keep well. talking about how old I am, and I'm old enough to do that. I, I'm I'm I remember recently that he was in his 70s before he passed, and they reopened this case of the death of his girlfriend. And I kind of was like, that I never knew his um had a girlfriend that passed or whatever. Um, so come find out, you know, it's his mistress. She was always with a um, young girl. Um, looked like she was full of life and stuff. Um, they did a good job of kind of like bringing her family into it and on uh, that type of deal uh, uh, in the documentary. But yes, um, she was found dead. So they, um, allegedly they they were in a you know abusive relationship. Um, they kind of documented how um, Jimmy Snooker was kind of like uncontrollable. So um, the I think what was his name Buddy Lee. He was his um his kind of like chauffeur a manager he carried him he handled him on the road and stuff and he couldn't he couldn't handle him so it went that far so when he they met this girl when he met this girl jimmy um superfly snooker they were like hey man she she has a little bit of control over him so we're gonna let her let her deal with him you know and of course you know like uh he was bringing in money back then so this big man um that was that was uh money driving around he needs somebody to to like make sure he gets to his show. Sad thing about the, sh the the documentary. I mean, besides the murder, uh, the death of uh, you know, a part, you know, innocent woman was um, and it was just kind of like pulled peel back like the onions. And and I, I'm pretty sure he's not the only one. You know, S Supervisor Jimmy Snooker is a Pacific Islander. He's from the Fiji Islands, and they were kind of mentioning how he, you know, he was taking it. He was he was a big draw for the WWF at the time, and he was bringing in all this money, but. Um, he didn't know how to read English. He barely knew how to speak English. And they were, you know, people they were just signing contracts, just getting him to sign stuff. You know, you wonder if he, if he was just getting robbed of his money, man. You know, um, they had uh, a restaurant there, part of, you know, Samoan um, family, wrestling family, uh, what is uh, Fatu, one of the Fatus. Um, he was going under Tongue and Kid um, as, as a wrestler and said Sigma Fly Jimmy Snooker was a big mentor. And it was kind of heartbreaking to just see at the at the um, how how happy and how well he spoke of him. And then toward the end, when they kind of like revealed to him that hey, you know that 
he he probably lied about um her death because of this and he kind of just man came unraveled and and you could tell he was real emotional about it so um then there was another um police chief a former police chief that was at that county that they that they investigated the uh the murder and they were asking him questions and he he man if you could kind of gauge a liar or or somebody that's not that's uncomfortable telling telling the story because now they're uncomfortable or they're just not telling the truth man he was especially toward the end he was just all over the place so um especially his head on uh, doing all this so um man it's, it's worth checking out i'm gonna put the link in the description fortunately like on like vice um i don't know they take a little while to put it out so it's they just actually you know people from with youtube channels actually play it and stuff so but it's from vice documentaries i'll try to put the vice link in the description but um this time i'm gonna uh put whichever one i can find with i watched it on somebody else's channel but um worth the watch um probably some inconsistency um in the story but but mostly tells the story gets the story out for um nancy rest in peace and then Superfly Jimmy Snook actually rest in peace as well. Just kind of sad story for a guy who was, um, you know, well, re well revered to a lot of people, and including I mean, including me. I remember him when I was younger. So, uh, good, good documentary worth watching. Uh, another, another good episode. Hey, you guys, stay safe, be healthy, drink water, and hey, wash your hands. All right, y'all.